The Barred Owl. The Barred Owl, also known as the Northern Barred Owl or, more informally, Hoot Owl, is a large species of owl. A member of the true owl family, Strigidae, they belong to the genus Strix, which is also the origin of the family's name under Linnean taxonomy. Barred owls are brown to grey overall, with dark striping on the underside contrasted immediately above that with similarly dark and tight barring about their throat and nape. Barred owls are largely native to eastern North America, but have expanded their range to the west coast of North America where they are considered invasive. Mature forests are their preferred habitat, but they can also acclimate to various gradients of open woodlands. Their diet consists mainly of small mammals, but this species is an opportunistic predator and is known to prey upon other small vertebrates such as birds, reptiles, and amphibians, as well as a variety of invertebrates. Barred owls have typical nesting habits for a true owl, tending to raise a relatively small brood often in a tree hollow or snag deep in the woods. As a result of the barred owl's westward expansion, the species has begun to encroach on the range of their cousin, the threatened spotted owl. Evidence shows the assorted threats posed by the invading barred species are only increasing. In response, biologists have recommended culling operations to mitigate the negative effect of the barred on the spotted owl species. Description. The barred owl is considered somewhat subdued and drab in coloration compared to the sometimes rich coloring of other sympatric owls. Overall, this owl is grayish brown or brown. The brownish color extends from the head to the back. Barred owls are scalloped with white bars on the mantle and the back, bearing as well some whitish spotting on the wing coverts. The underside has a pale creamy gray-brown base color overlaid about the throat and upper chest with horizontal, slightly crescent-shaped barring, while the belly is boldly streaked in a vertical pattern. The streaking is usually blackish, dusky brown, or sometimes rufescent reddish brown. The head is fairly large and rounded with no ear tufts. The facial disc is pale grayish brown with darker yet subtle concentric lines. The bill is pale straw yellow while the sear is horn colored. Its eyes are of a blackish brown color, this being the only true owl of the eastern United States which has brown eyes, all others have yellow eyes. The eyes may appear intensely black in the field and, although large, are fairly closely set. The barred owl has well-developed eye anatomy. As is typical of owls, their ocular anatomy is quite distinct from diurnal raptors especially in terms of their photoreceptor cells, as they have a very large number of rod cells in their quite sensitive retina. However, their pecten oculi is smaller relative to the size of their large ocular globe. The vision in limited or almost no light during a laboratory study of a barred owl was found to be similar to that of other owls, including the long-eared owl and the barn owl. The tarsi and toes are feathered up to the dark grey, black-tipped talons. These feathers are more sparse and bristled in the southern races. On individuals with bare sections of their toes, the toes are yellowish-grey in color. The flight feathers are barred with whitish buff and brown while the tail is brown or grayish brown with four to five whitish bars. Young barred owls with their second set of down feathers are fluffy brownish white, with indistinct darker barring on their head, back and mantle. They quickly become juveniles which resemble adults but have less distinct markings, more buff coloring overall, often some remnant down, pinkish skin and a pale, blue-green sear. Also the tail at this age may have as many as seven bands. Full adult plumage is obtained via molt after about a year as well as adult bear part characteristics. The barred owl is a large species. The adult measures anywhere from 40 to 63 centimeters in length while the wingspan may range from 96 to 125 centimeters. The wing area is quite intermediate amongst American owls, with the wing loading being lower than larger, but proportionately small winged larger owls and even than some smaller owls. The bard has higher wing loading than a number of smaller, often rather slenderly built owls that have proportionately larger wings. Wing loading is related to hunting technique, with higher wing loading owls typically hunting from a perch, with only a brief flight necessary to obtain food, whilst lower wing loading owls often hunt their prey from active flight. Of these, bard and other strix owls fall more so in the perch hunting category. As is the case in most owls, the various wing feathers of barred owls are uncharacteristically soft and bear a comb-like shape, which in turn renders their flight functionally silent during their hunts. Like most birds of prey, the female is larger than the male barred owl, sometimes described as reverse sexual dimorphism. 
Among standard measurements, the wing cord of grown males varies from 303 to 340 mm, with an average from three sources of 326.2 mm. The tail may measure from 182 to 250 mm, with an average of 219.6 mm, and the culmen from the sea may measure from 22 to 27 mm, with an average of 24.3 mm. Meanwhile for the female, the wing cord may range from 318 to 357 mm, averaging 335.8 mm, the tail from 204 to 257 mm, averaging 223.3 mm and the culmen from the sea 20 to 30.7 mm, averaging 25.1 mm. Thanks for watching. In you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.